Hello friends! Today we are going to review a new line of industrial CPUs based on Intel Skylake, which feature unprecedented and mind-blowing prices. A few months after the announcement of Intel Skylake processors, they have presented commercial versions for the corporate market Intel Xeon. Such solutions are mainly designed for servers, workstations and heavy computing systems. However, they can also be implemented in personal computers due to their compatibility with mass-user motherboards. Also, it's more accurate to say they could be implemented, considering that industrial processors into Xeon are no longer supported by conventional motherboards, commencing with this line, which was actually named as Intel Greenlow. They have developed special models for them, which are based on chipset Intel C232 and C236. In fact, Intel Green Low Line models are the same Intel Skylake built on 40 nanomm technological process, although featuring different frequency and the graphics core missing sometimes. If there was any microarchitecture upgrade, excluding ECC memory support, then they are likely to be rather nominal. However, if you are willing to have the latest Intel Xeon model, then you'd better get an appropriate motherboard before. Intel has released 11 commercial solutions. They each have 4 cores, locked multiplier and a TDP of not more than 80 watts. There are also several solutions featuring reduced heat generation, 25 and 45 watts and designed for energy efficient systems. As to the recommended price, then it's easily possible to predict its expected level. But model Intel Xeon E3 to ITV5 is of a special note. We failed to figure out the reason for paying $270 more as compared to 1275E5. Is it referred to additional 100 MHz of basic frequency or to its top grade only? Nevertheless, this model is the flagship product of Intel Green Low Line, and it is the first representative to proceed featuring the new line of commercial processors Intel Xeon. Our lab got the test engineering sample of Intel Xeon E3 1280v5 processor in a plastic blister. Its tray OEM version will be also available in the market, while other products of Intel Greenlow line will also have cut-on box options, including standard cooling systems supplied. However, prospective buyers should not worry as compatibility with LGA1151 socket ensures LC compatibility with all current coolers. The CPU speed was 3700 MHz by reference frequency of 100 MHz in the standard operation mode, Intel Tuba Boost 2.0 technology disabled. The supply voltage fluctuated within the following range. The processor clock frequency increased up to 4000 MHz and the supply voltage up to 1.277 volts after activation of dynamic overclocking technology. However, such rates were recorded at specific low loads, where only one core was invoked mostly, and in real-time use, the processor is going to have a frequency contiguous to nominal almost all of its operation time. Energy saving devices had no upgrades, processor clock frequency decreased up to 800 MHz in idle mode. Intel Xeon E3 1280v5 is equipped with two memory controllers, DDR4 and DDR3L. Maximum capacity is claimed at 64GB. We should also mention ECC memory support. Perhaps it's the main difference between commercial processors and conventional solutions. The processor is not equipped with an integrated graphics core and this is rather an advantage than a drawback for a model of such level. The temperature of the hottest core might 62 degrees during the stress test. Intel Core i7-6700K heated up to 69 degrees under the similar conditions. Accordingly, we can conclude that the same thermal interface is used in both cases, which copes its operation at a proper level. We have used the following equipment for testing and comparing the processors. Despite its higher cost, $200 more than the flagship model of Intel Skylake series, the new product failed to leave behind Intel Core i7-7600K, and the gap made about 6%. Also, the advantage over i5-6600K and AMD FX8370, 19% and 22% respectively, is likely to be of no account, because you can assemble a full-scale computer for $650, and this is an approximate retail price for the hero of our review. So, we've got everything clear about home computer systems, and does the corporate market have any available space for the new trend? Alas, the answer is negative too. Whereas at the same price you can get 6-core Core i7-5930K from Intel Haswell E-Series, which can show much better performance when included in a servo system or in a workstation. The difference can vary from 20% to 40% depending on applied application. In short, the price is overestimated by any definition. 
The tested processor has locked multipliers, so we did not expect to have excellent overclocking results. Also, after exploring features of motherboards for Intel Greenlow platform, we have fallen under the impression that such Tamas overclocking potential cannot be implied with regard to the new processors from Intel Xeon. The BIOS menu has just no settings related to optimization of the system parameters. In the course of the testing of processor Intel Xeon E312 ITV5, the only ultimate question was constantly in our minds – why is the price so high? The point is that, in relation to the features, the upcoming models of Intel Xeon E312 V5 series are more than $270 cheaper, although there are no apparent differences in features that would have a substantial influence on the performance. And with regard to the testing results, Intel Xeon E312 ATV5 is behind i7-6700K and the gap makes a few percent. The other sticking point is incompatibility with motherboards equipped with Intel chipset from 100 series and unavailable overclocking potential. We were unable to squeeze any extra megahertz from the nominal frequency even from the flagship model. It's clear that there is no point to consider the hero of our review as a basis for a home computer. Also, you can find more coherent and reasonable solutions within Intel Greenlow series. The positive points are implementation of time-tested Intel Skylake microarchitecture, a relatively low TDP rate, maximum 80 watts, and possibility of a cooler installation which is compatible with LGA1151 socket. Owners of servers and workstations would also be very pleased with the support of ECC memory of DDR3L and DDR4 standard. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!